Tarumbeta inayokata mshazari masikioni mwa binadamu kwa utamu wa kusikiza. Ni bendi kutoka magereza humu nchini. Wamefika hapa kutia nakshi hafla ya kuadhimisha miaka minane ya Kenya kusheherekea siku ya spina bifida na hydrocephalus. Spina bifida utokea wakati mtoto mezaliwa na uti waki wa mgongo ukakosa kuungana abra. abra. Hydrocephalus kwa pande mwingine ni hali ambayo inatokea wakati maji yamejazana kwenye kaviti ndani ya ubongo wa mtoto mdogo. Wakati wa maadhimisho hayo, Peter Mushiri, ambaye ni mwenyekiti wa baraza la kitaifa kuhusu watu walio na ulemavu, ametoa wito kwa serikali kuzingatia maslahi ya watu walio na ulemavu. We encounter a lot of challenges in terms of working. Look at the the terrain and the actually the accessibility of our towns and buildings for persons with disabilities whereby even transport is a challenge for these people. What am I saying here? I'm saying that when you look, when this person is using a cane in urban towns like in Nairobi, we don't have traffic lights, special traffic lights to assist these people. Aida, amesisitiza umuhimu watu hao kukabidhiwa bima ya kitaifa ya afya NHIF. Afisa mkumtendaji katika baraza hilo Mohamed Gabo kwa upande wake, amewataka wa Kenya kuzingatia maslahi ya watu walio na ulemavu. The National Council for Persons with Disability is a government parastatal under the Ministry of Labor and Social Protection, specifically on the social protection sector to be in charge of persons with disability in terms of various programs. Some of the programs we do is educational support, bursary we do economic empowerment where groups are given funds for income generating activities please apply subira sasa ni kuona kama yale mapendekezo ambayo yamependekezwa na baraza la kusimamia watu walio na ulemavu yatatimizwa Emmanuel Terer TV 47